just give me the general, what do you make of the state of the Republicans at this very moment? Uh, the state of the party is one in fl of, of flux. I mean, it's changing. Uh, clearly, there is um, an insurgent voice that is, that's even stronger than what we saw in 2009 with the Tea Party in 2010. Uh, and I think that's good. I think that's excel exciting and healthy for the party. The question becomes, okay, now that we've got your attention, what do we do? Yeah. How do we begin to talk about these big issues, not just immigration, but you know other issues that impact families and individuals, uh, both social, economic, political? So it, it's 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 going to be a real challenge because there's been a lot of hot rhetoric up to now, um, a lot of hurt feelings, and you know how that plays out ultimately. Sure. Um, it's it's sometimes harder to make up than it is to offend. Uh -huh. So. Um, I, I think it's going to be some work the party has to do, but we're not, it's not anything that we haven't had to do before. It's not a hill we haven't had to climb before. Yeah. Um, I remember what I inherited as chairman, uh, you know, after losing in 06 and 08. It was not the best situation to come in with Barack Obama newly elected, and here I, hi, yeah. <laughs> welcome to the party. Yeah. But you know how, you learn how to turn it around, and you do. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, two years later, we were winning seats all over the country. The same thing can happen. But it will matter who the nominee is, how the nominee speaks, um, and, and how we engage the country on these big subjects. Sure. So one other quick thing, not even related to politics. I had Sam Harris. Is that such a thing? I had Sam Harris on my show last oh, week, and really? we were talking about the whole thing on real time. You were on real time yeah. with Bill Maher the night that that yeah. whole thing happened with Affleck. Did you have any idea that that moment and that scream of racism and all that was going to blow up into the media no, frenzy it that it became? And it was it was absolutely hysterical sitting in between the you know the the, the stereo and, yeah. and watching it unfold and. And seeing Mars just stand on his principle about how he felt on, uh, about uh, uh, this issue, and and Affleck just brought the passion. I was like, dude, can we bottle that? You know, this is great. But it, it, but you know, moments like that I think are, are now much more prevalent in the in the discourse, in the political discourse. And I think that's a good thing. I think that the more people express that passion. Don't get carried away with it. Don't make it ugly, which is part of the concern that a lot of folks have. You know, when you get to the name calling, I can disagree with you principally, but I don't have to call you stupid. I can disagree with you on a position, but I don't have to call you lazy or slow. So the, the fact of the matter is, I think this is an opportunity to, um, to really kind of change how we have that conversation. Um, respect the passion, um, but recognize that, um, hey, we got we to solve the problem. Love that answer. I mean, that's what I talked about with Sam the yeah. whole time. Yeah, it, it makes all the difference in the world.